yeah, if you think you're gonna do it in your own strength, then you know what, yeah, you can do it. COVID, it's been helping people move their businesses from offline or brick and mortar to online. Systems yeah. are more important than skills as an entrepreneur today. It's yes. totally okay to reinvent yourself yes. multiple times, especially when you're an entrepreneur. Welcome to Profitable Coaching Conversations with Wendy Y. Bailey. If you're a coach, speaker, or industry expert, you're in the right place for sales and marketing wisdom and insight to grow your coaching business. Now, here's your host, Income Acceleration Mentor, Wendy Y. Bailey. Hi, everyone, and welcome to this bonus episode of the Profitable Coaching Conversations show. It's Wendy Y. here, and today I want to talk about how you set fees for your high-ticket coaching programs. It's a question that I get asked a lot by clients, and it boils down to three very simple things that you want to consider as it relates to how you set your fees for your high ticket coaching programs. The first is really simple, but it is essential when it comes to how you set your fees. And that is you have to understand what people are really buying when they come to you. When they're looking at your high ticket coaching program, they're paying for the transformation that you create. They're not paying for the number of sessions or the hours that you put in or how many times a week that they're going to meet with you or how many handouts or whatever you're going to give them, how many audio. They're not paying for that. That's just part of the trappings of your program. They're paying for the transformation. As a coach, you're always in the mode of transformation. I call coaches and uh, transformation experts because that's what you're doing. You're, transfer, form, you're transforming people's businesses. You're transforming their workplace, their lives, their health, their wealth, their uh, careers. You're in the business of helping your clients transform in some space and place in their world. That's what they're paying for when they are investing in a high ticket coaching program. They're paying for that transformation, they're paying for that result, and everything else is just gravy. And let me give an example of what I'm talking about. A couple of months ago, I entertained a client in a discovery session. First time, he sought me out on LinkedIn, he was interested in what I had to say, he booked a session with me, that was a paid session, he paid for the session, and when I did some research on him before we actually met for our coaching session, I saw that he was dripping with wealth. I saw that he had done a whole lot of things, had made a lot of money, and I knew he was coming to me and he had the ability to pay me what I truly felt like I deserved for coaching. And let's just say that uh, just in terms of round numbers, I said to him, I can work with you once we got to that part of our, of our conversation. I said, I can work with you and I can support you and it's going to be $50,000. He said, hmm, okay. He said, I guess you get what you pay for. And I didn't understand what he meant when he said it, but he proceeded to email me a proposal created by his previous coach that he coached for eight, with for 18 months. And when he showed me the proposal that he accepted and worked with the, with the coach you know, during that period of time, he actually had invested $150,000 to have this person coach him for a year and a half, $150,000. And I was like, well, I can charge you that much, you know, but he was like, he laughed. He, you know, we ended our conversation. It was fine. And when it was time for us to move forward to work together, he sent me a message and he said, I actually hired another coach. I want to thank you for, you know, the opportunity to coach with you. And I knew as soon as I got the message that I had not charged enough. And the reason I knew that I had not charged enough was because he felt like because my fee was lower than what he was accustomed to, that that meant I could not deliver the transformation that he sought. He thought that because my fees were low in his mind, that meant it wasn't going to work for him and he wasn't willing to invest at that lower level to coach with me. 
So I share the story with you because you've got to understand the mindset of the people that you're working with as well. If you're working with people who are always looking for something for free, then they're not going to be your ideal client. If you're working with, with someone who's always looking for something for cheap, they're not going to be your ideal client either. The people who are willing to invest in themselves by hiring you are expecting you to charge at a level that stretches them in their investment. I'm not saying, you know, people who don't have money and they're scrambling and try to figure out how to pay you. What I'm saying is when you up-level your client, that means you up-level your coaching and you up-level the, the way you assign fees for your high-ticket coaching programs. So the first thing is you've got to understand what you're doing in that you are delivering a result, a transformation, and that's what your high ticket coaching program is designed to do, deliver that transformation. The second thing is equally as simple, but it's very, very important at the same time. Um, very, very simple at the same time. And that is, you must understand what value looks like as a result, as a result of working with you in your coaching program. Value, in my definition, has three simple ways of looking at it. It's business value, it's um, lifetime value, and it's financial value. I usually do those in a different order, but business value is people want productivity, they want effectiveness, they want efficiency. You can articulate what kind of value you're going to bring, and that's the result that you can describe in your communications and in your offers. Financial value is all about numbers. It's so much weight lost. It's so much gained financially in terms of numbers. It's, you know, higher fees, whatever it is, it's a financial value and you can articulate that. And then lifetime value is a little bit harder, but think about the people that you've already served and supported. When you talk to them, what do they say about what they gained from working with you? Oh, you know, I was in this situation and I remember what you said to me and it was this. Those are lifetime value moments. When you know what those are, then you can convey those as well. And that brings me to the third and very simple um, point of this whole setting high fees for your high ticket coaching programs. And that is very simple. You've got to be able to articulate value in a way that your ideal client who comes to you understands that you get the transformation that you can provide. You can articulate it. You can say it in a way that they get it, they understand it, and they believe that you can help deliver it for them. So that's a simple way to look at setting fees for your high ticket coaching programs. Uh, we'll be back next time for another episode of the Profitable Coaching Conversation Show. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to Profitable Coaching Conversations with Wendy Y. Bailey. Be sure to join us at the after party at www.profitablecoachingsociety.com. We'll see you next time for more sales and marketing wisdom and insight from Wendy Y and her amazing guests. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you know when new episodes are posted.